Now there is quite obviously a break in the space-time continuum and reality has gone down the left trouser leg of all things balanced because I have a lightweight Turkish rifle this week and it's going to take me a while to just compute this. <laughs> And welcome to the Twilight Zone, formerly known as AAR On Air. You know, I never tire of getting firsts here on the channel, and this week's first is a first for me. A lightweight rifle from the big lads in Turkey. This is the Reximex Pretensis. Normally I do like a bit of timber on my traditional shaped rifle, but that usually comes at a cost when it's Turkish walnut. This pretensis, though, could be the ideal compromise. Dressed in its all-black polymer stock. Let's do the stats, shall we? This is just under 109 centimetres, or 42 and 3 quarter inches long, without a silencer fitted, and tips the scales at 3.2 kilograms or seven pounds exactly, unscoped, which makes this quite carryable without any bother. Oh, and to make it even more carryable, it comes pre-fitted with studs front and back. Let's start from the front, shall we? This comes supplied with a muzzle brake on the front rather than a silencer, but the barrel is standard half-inch UNF thread and will allow you to add a silencer of your choice. Fitting one is a good idea, because without one fitted you will certainly alert the neighbourhood that you're out and about. The rifle barrel is 580mm long and has a front strap fitted. Below this is the 260cc air cylinder with a max fill pressure of 250 bar, which in sub 12 foot pounds should get you into triple figures shot-wise. Indeed, they claim up to 180 shots from a 200 bar fill. The front has that pull-off cover to access the filler nipple, which is simple foster type, so no filler probes to lose. Moving back, the air gauge or manometer is on the right-hand side and is a clear, oversized, colour-coded and numerics Reximex labelled item. Whilst this stands proud on the side, it does do away with the need to look down the business end to see what pressure you've got left. Just above and behind this is a bright red anodized power adjuster, which has nine different settings. I'll test that out a little later. On top is a multi-fit scope rail that covers off both Dovetail and Picatinny, so no need to worry if you have the correct mounts on your existing scopes. The action is side lever and it's easy and pretty smooth and it has around a 90 degree pull to it. The safety is a push-through item and is right to left for fire and left to right for safe. It's worth noting that this can be applied on or off if you lay this down on its side, so be careful. The trigger is two-stage and a match style but with limited adjustability. That said, I found it quite nice to use straight out of the box. Right, that's stock. It is an ambidextrous polymer item, even though there are several options available, including walnut, laminates, and various other shocking designs, quite literally, as they are lightning-based. The polymer version does have an adjustable cheek piece and an adjustable butt plate which add to the comfort of this rifle and the desirability. The forestock is shaped and stippled and is really very comfortable. It's not chunky or heavy. There is a weaver rail supplied in the box for you to screw to the front for bipods, etc. if you want. There are also two 
14 round magazines supplied a foster fitting and a single shot tray in the cardboard box. Now, it would be nice to have a hard case, but if it's going to be some hyper-flexing budget item, it's better they supply it in a cardboard box and keep the price down, certainly to my mind. Then you can get yourself a decent case. Let's get this over the chronograph then and see if that power adjuster actually does anything in this sub 12 foot pound, guys. Well, this is a 177 calibre version, 22 is also available, and I use standard 8.44 grain pellets, as always, unweighed or unsorted. And with the power adjuster on full, it saw. 769 feet per second, which is 11.09 foot pounds or 15.03 joules. So, what does it do with the power adjuster all the way down? Well, using the same 8.44 grains, it saw a much lower 404 feet per second, which is 3.06 foot pounds or 4.15 joules. So, it definitely does work and keeps the rifle below the 12 foot pound UK maximum nicely. So the question in my head is how does it perform with heavier pellets on board? Well with 10.34 grains it saw 720 feet per second which is 11.9 foot pounds or 16.14 joules. So plenty of power for a spot of pest control and this is the unregulated version. Well, that's the power questions answered. What about accuracy? Well, I had it dropped on me right at the last minute and I had to get it out on the range very quickly with no real time to get used to this pretensis. But here are the results. I've just been given very quickly the Reximec pretensis. Reximex pretensis, I do beg your pardon. There's an adjuster on here. Gauges, safety through, still got the label on it. I don't normally do them this quickly, but somebody's asked me to do a very quick power test, sorry, target test. You can see how rushed I am to, uh, to see if this is any good. I've actually shot four shots to zero it. That's it. Let's see if it is any good. Here we go, 40 meters. I'm out of breath because I've just gone running down. Cocking it would help. Out of breath, let's try again. Ah, it's quite a light trigger and I just pulled that one. Sorry, oh, where did it go? Yeah, not too bad, but it's uh, off group. That's it, last shot. So that's what's left after I've zeroed it. Um, first reactions, because this is done on a real quick basis. It's odd how the magazine goes in round way first rather than the flat. Okay, I've seen that before I think on Reximex. The side lever is really quite smooth. It's quiet with the silencer on. I've put a big silencer on this one. To be honest, let's take it off. See what it's like. Because the first thing I did, I just simply put a silencer on it. Just a matter of course, because it doesn't come with one. Yeah, that echoes around the paddock. You're going to want a silencer on it, definitely. It's half its UNF thread, so that's not a problem. Filler is in the end. Gauge on the side. It's all plastic. You've got adjusters, adjustability all over the place. The trigger feels really very nice. I believe it's adjustable. I've not messed about with the power. I'll do that in the review. But first reaction is, and it's quite light. I quite like that. Nicely shaped as well. Yeah, 
really quite nicely shaped. So for a very quick, the studs on it too, <laughs> for a very quick review, I don't think that's bad. I'll very quickly go and get the target and show you the results. For somebody in a rush, still out of breath, for somebody in a rush, I don't think that's bad at all. I really don't think that's bad at all. Those were my fault. Other than that, they're grouping. They're grouping quite nice and tightly. It's not, it doesn't feel erratic. It feels consistent. It's a 177 that I'm shooting. It, it's nice, comfortable, easy, and I can use a thumbs up position, which I like. There's nothing wrong with that. I quite like that. First reactions, yeah. Choose the scope correctly, get a decent silencer on it. Result. I personally found this very comfortable to shoot and felt at home with it instantly. All of which does help you get better results. The price on this one does vary quite a lot because there are so many options available from unregulated to regulated, polymer stocks, wood, laminate and those funky design options. But the starting price is around £475 UK and tops out at about £650 UK. So if you want to take this out in all conditions or treat it with your best white gloves, then there is an option for you in the range. It shoots really nicely and I enjoyed my time with it. So, time to get clicky. Please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, feel free to share and click the alarm notification bell. Check out this little lot and the AAR On Air website. Of course, a big thank you goes out to the guys at Vector Air for getting this for me to review for you. You know, it's really quite amazing when people come into the Vector Air shop and look shocked and saying they didn't know it was a shop. A lot of people think it's just an online store with delivery. Well, they do have a shop also, and it's fastly becoming the go-to place in the Nottinghamshire, South Yorkshire and Lincolnshire areas. Heck, people come from as far south as Cornwall or as far north as Scotland, complete with their licences, of course. You can often see me in there on a Saturday going through their stock for guns to review and giving them a dig out from time to time too. There are all kinds of links for you to look out and check out in the notes below. Finally, the biggest thanks goes out to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Please stay safe and shoot safe and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye for now. It's been a rushed one today. I like this. I like this a lot.